Hey guys, it's Infrared God, and I'm back with another Pokemon Brick Bronze video. In this video, I'll be tier listing all copies, ranking them from best to worst. However, before I begin, let me introduce some rules for the tier list. I'm only covering copies that I've already reviewed in the past, and I'm not covering any copies that aren't released or have been discontinued. If I missed a copy that you thought deserved to be on this tier list, let me know in the comments and I might review it in the future. With that said, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, so here's the tier list, and the copies I'm going to be putting in this tier list are Bronze Legacy, Bronze Odyssey, Bronze Destiny, Bronze Eclipse, Grand Obsidian Reforged, Legends of Roria, Bronze Forever, Bronze Legends, Bronze Victors, Shining Silver, and The Return of Hoopa. Also, say hi to Smoke, everybody. Hello Yo. there. Alright, anyways, which copy you want to start off with? Bronze Legacy, easy F, uh, easy S. Legacy. Oh, we'll start, we'll legacy, start with Legacy. We'll start with Legacy. Left to right. Left all right, right, all right. So, Bronze Legacy is the only copy that I know of. Well, I mean, GOR has some stat changes, but Bronze Legacy is the only one doing it on a massive scale. The only one with a ban list right now because PBBR is discontinued. No dis, no discontinued copies or unreleased copies here. So. I'd say that Bronze well, Legacy is the already in the near future. I'd say Bronze Legacy is the best copy for PvP singles right now. And uh, you know, we also have increased uh, money, increased uh, ticks, uh, increased BP. Points. I mean all of the changes are like documented, I'll just put them in the description, bias. but I think no one should complain if I put Bronze Legacy in oh S. My God. You also yeah. forgot to um, include that it's we also have an easy way to get B caps. Oh, oh yeah, B caps are easier yeah. to get. If you get a win streak of five then you get a B cap. But it also, the BP cooldown still applies, so you can't just farm the same person yeah. over and over. Alright, next copy? Bias and Fred. It ain't bias, bro. GOR. GOR? GOR? Okay, um, I'm a bit on the fence with this. You want to put in an S or A? A. A. I'd give it an A. a. Like a high A, though. Yeah, probably high top of A. a. Probably top of A. So, the thing about GOR is obviously Dynamax, and the increased difficulty mm -hmm. that they have for gym leaders, but the problem with that, adding a difficulty update is kind of a double-edged sword, because if you make it so that only the gym leaders are difficult, the difficulty of your game is going to be really inconsistent. And then, if you have a casual or a new player playing, and then they run into that Gigantamax Pikachu, they're going to be f Then They can't do anything about it. <laughs> Also, I must add, 2v2s don't really work in that <laughs> They thing. chose Mudkip. Oh, also, yeah, Dynamax? The Dynamax? There's no Dynamaxing in PvP for GOR, which is kind of sad. There is also yeah, that uh, PvP, PvP item PvP shop PvP in Chesma. PvP. There's also that PvP shop in Chesma, which is pretty helpful. But Indeed. I think you know, top of A is a fair placement. Yeah. It's yeah, if yeah, you I want... Mean, I might even want to play it because... I haven't played it yet. I kind of yeah, want to. Yeah, if you want, if you want to try out Dynamax and PVV, then g definitely give GOR a try. All right. As yeah, for, I think it's all right. Looks, next copy. Shining Silver. Uh, Shining yeah, Silver. Shining Silver. <laughs> oh, people are gonna get mad about this. Okay, I'm I'm putting Shining yeah. Silver in B. I'm putting it's Shining kinda, Silver in B. Yeah, I mean they they flop. They kinda, I feel like they kind of. I know I put it in I, S I last time. Shining Silver. So. I know I put it in S last time, but looking back, that was a huge lapse in judgment. And PBBR should have been the only thing in S without question on the old tier list. The reason I'm putting it in B right now is the main thing keeping Shining Silver at the top was that their downtime was almost non-existent. They would always re-upload within one or two days, and we were getting Definitely. consistent leaks and updates. But now, you kind of have this huge content drought. like. Shining Silver didn't even have Gen 9 starters until like mid-July. It was it was bad. It was really bad. They still don't got the eighth gym. They have the Safari Zone. They have the Safari Zone, but that's not really all that much. Like in Bronze Legacy, we added some of the Safari mods to be obtainable elsewhere, and that really helped out a lot of people. Like people who wanted Mega Kangaskhan and Ferrothorn. So. I guess like you have the Safari custom mons, but then again, PBF also has the Safari zone, so it's not all that special anymore. And although we do have leaks for custom renders for Gen 9 and Hisuian Pokemon, BL also has Hisuian Pokemon, and GOR also has Hisuian starters, 
so just the leaks aren't going to cut it anymore. However, it's uh, still well, a pretty uh, solid copy yeah, that lacks major bugs, so B is a fair placement. What should we do next? PBF. PBF? Okay, PBF is an easy top of S. Like, do you, are you gonna question it? Did, 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 did the know, only I'm copy with gonna... like a full fledged Rory yeah. League and Champion, where the teams are I'm actually gonna... good, the builds are decent, and it's actually, no, the Champion, champion. the Champion <laughs> building uh, was beautiful. Yes, I beat the you elite. Beat it, by the way? Yes, I beat it. Because I was lazy and refused to grind, it actually took me three tries to beat the champion. But it's fine. It's fine. The second battle was bad RNG. And you can see that because all I did was just restart. And then I got good RNG and won. It was that. <laughs> it's that RNG dependent. Uh, I think it's My only one to RNG as well. Like, this the only good. problem, the only problem- also coming out soon for oh yeah, PBF, because they just released that. Because they merged with I'd say Bronze or Forge. Top. So, like, the only problems with PBF are that they use the screen rip renders for Gen 9, and most of those look pretty garbage, and I guess the trade <laughs> economy, but every economy is kind of fucked except for Bronze Legacy because B caps are actually obtainable through skill instead of luck. But, but nonetheless, those issues aren't going to prevent PBF from being at the top of S. PBF is an easy S here. No Hashtag. questions asked. Use code in Fred God and PBF yeah. for purchases. Someone the GUI. Use code Fred God. Use code Fred God. Alright. What about um, the November incident for PBF? Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember, like, PBF had a bunch of trouble in the past with, like, data and rollbacks. But. Yep. They, I think they've redeemed themselves from that. So yeah, the the Rory League, it, it's really good, but Victory Road for me is too long, and the Elite Four and Champion is a little bit too hard for the casual player. Yeah, but I'd rather have just the Elite Four be difficult than, in GOR's case, having just the gym leaders be difficult, because yeah, the level curve and the difficulty curve, it isn't like erratic. The way it's, it, it is with GOR. More and more and more. All right. Um, what copy should we do next? Odyssey. Okay. Yeah, Odyssey. Uh, this is probably gonna piss a couple of people off, but we're putting it. Do you want to put it above Shining Silver or below it? Above. Above. Uh, I'd say above. Yeah. Okay. Um, probably because of Gen does, Nine. Probably because of Gen Nine. Yeah. It yeah. Doesn't Odyssey also have um Elite Four and Champion? It does, but the builds are super tiny, and the team and the team building is pretty bad. Like, I mean, honestly, they are they are unique with having like an a custom eighth gym God. and the first it's technically like, the first brick bronze to ever have real league. But you have to admit yeah. it was rushed yeah, they, yeah, got... and it was super buggy. Yeah. Like there I are mean, a bunch of dialogue bugs Odyssey. too. Yeah, uh, Odyssey. They've also recently um released Requaza Mega Requa Mega Requaza. Yeah. But something sad about it is that they're not allowing they're not allowing you to use Mega Requiz in PvP, which is depression. Yeah. Oh, also, um, another thing I wanted to mention, uh, Odyssey's, I haven't brought up Tutor, uh, Bronze Legacy, Bronze Forever, GOR, and Bronze Odyssey. They all have Tutor, but Bronze Odyssey's Tutor is f like I couldn't teach Corviknight Roost or Defog. It's it's that bad. Hey Fred, can we talk about the GUI for a second? The GUI? Oh, it just the your GUI. Eyes. In PBF, like during the lab and all that? Yeah, that it was. Blinds your eyes. Yeah. Thankfully, you only have to deal with that once. Also, Bronze Legacy's GUI, in my opinion, it was also really good. The scenery was beautiful. And also the, and also the, the water terrain effect. But We've also got a custom price in Legacy 2, don't we? Yeah, the custom renders for King Gambit, Annihilate, and Paul Day and Wolper, Claude Sire, the custom price for Charizard and Typhlosion, and Mega Tyranitar and Vaporeon. But wait, you changed me you changed the Mega Tyranitar? Yeah. Also, I Bronze Bronze Odyssey sprites. Did, did anyone else catch how the sprites were completely f like Mega sprites would oh, be yeah, HD, but the other sprites weren't? And it was just really yeah. jarring to look at. 
That's why I was debating yeah, between uh, putting it below or above Shining Silver. Because although they have oh, more content oh, oh, oh. than Shining Silver, Shining Silver is like more stable. And it yeah, doesn't have yeah, all the yeah, issues Bronze Odyssey right. has. But I guess yeah, the content Odyssey. in Odyssey outweighs all of that. Since, you know, they have a bunch more legendaries. And they actually have. And they also have their own 8th gym and Aurora League. Alright, next copy, I would say Bronze Destiny. So, Bronze Destiny, I would put low A or high B? High B, probably. B, yeah, high, high B. B. Okay, Bronze Destiny is like the baseline a for a PvP copy. Like, they got Tutor, they lack pretty much any bugs, but. And then they have the essentials, but then the, that's pretty much it. That's like Bronze Destiny's only problem. There's just. Not something, there just isn't anything to like, make it, like, big. Yeah, it, there just, there's not enough content in Bronze Destiny, so, it's kind of just, it's kind of just the, the base, like, the benchmark. Yeah, like, baseline work they're doing. The bottom line. Yeah, but, I appreciate that they also have working team battles, which I also appreciate. So, like, yeah. because- I feel like either mid B or- or high B's for where I'd put yeah, it. I'm, I'm, I'd I put it at the top of B. Yeah. I don't think it'd be like A tier, but I think it'd be like high Yeah, B. putting it right next to GOR just doesn't sit well with me. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like doing GR like bad. You know, maybe GOR deserves like low S, in my opinion. Low S. Uh, so, the thing about a. GOR is that like there are also bugs like the Dynamax sprites being offset from the battle scene. Having to go up against a Gigantamax EV in your first battle, which is like half of the time un unwinnable, and yeah, true. the yeah, icons are completely f which just ruins the roulette. Yeah, I mean, that like, was, like, that's true, but how many copies do you know that actually have Dynamaxing even in it? Yeah, that, that'd be all. one. That'd be one. Because the only copies that ever had that are GOR. And Bronzer Forge, and Bronzer Forge is dead. I mean, Dry worked on Bronzer Forge, so of course he brought that into Grand Obsidian. I'd say low S tier, but I but high A. I'd give it high A. Yeah, I mean, yeah, high, high A, low S, whatever. They're technically the same a little bit. Yeah, I think I'd keep it. At, I think I'd keep it at high A. All right, next I think Legends of Rhea. Um. See. So yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Legends of Warrior. I mean, they don't really do a lot for the game. The I game mean, ain't really. I think I put it I, at I, B. I, um, I'll put it at the end, end of B. Cause yeah, Legends we'll of Warrior. Legends of do a lot for it. Legends of Warrior got nuked in the past, and they lost a lot of their players. Um, they do have a couple of Gen 9 mods here and there, but they also have a couple of bu minor bugs. I mean, and it also copies. has the, I, I mean, true, but they also have the same problem as Bronze Destiny with having a general lack of content, which is kind of why they couldn't get all of their members back. So, putting Legends yeah, of Warrior at the true. bottom of B is probably the most fair place to put it at. All right, next is Bronze Legends. You know, you know, I've actually never like known what they're for. Yeah, I'm I think really I'm gonna put yeah. uh, Bronze Legends at C. I, now I know there's like a whole split between um, Bron Bronze Legends Return and then the original Bronze Legends by AOGN, but honestly, both are about the same. They don't really receive updates. They don't really have much besides like you know, Zero or Groudon, Kyogre. And then that's pretty much, and then Gen 9 starters and all the essentials, and that's pretty much it. They also run into a lot more bugs than other copies do, which is why they're not at B. Because if they didn't have the sheer amount of bugs they do, they'd probably be above Legends of Roria. But those bugs exist, so we're putting Bronze Yeah, Legends I don't here. think they're going to be able to fix them. I mean, they're, I mean, I think they're trying to, but... It, it's taken way too long to fix minor bugs that PBF and like AOE or something is doing better at. All right. Don't Anyways, like that. um, what's the next copy we should be reviewing? Hoopa. 
Return of Hoopa. Okay, Return of Hoopa. Alright, now. Next is Bronze Victors. Um, Never played the game. Never played the game. Uh, you see. No. Moda. Moda is the one that made that, I think. Yeah. Or I don't know whoever made yeah, that. Yeah, Moda, Moda but made that. I don't that. think it's truly the best. I mean. Honestly, it may be like. I feel like it's mid C tier, in my uh, opinion. Above or below? From what I see, they, they add a bunch of codes, but I think that's what their their economies. Uh, it's kind of all over the place, but. So do we put it below I or put above? It above Legend. All right. Uh, I say above. above I think above. Probably because they have their encounter list. Probably because they have the encounter list feature. The encounter list feature. The, the encounter list feature is probably one of the highlights of Bronze Victors because that makes searching through routes a lot easier. But then again, Bronze Victors is also facing a content drought. And aside I mean, from having. These are at this point. True. But. I mean, some PvP still receive updates. But I haven't really. Yeah. But I haven't really seen much from Victors. All right. Yeah, I mean, Victor. Victor's is doing like they're interacting with their community by giving out codes and stuff, kind of like how, how I think uh, Shining Silver was. But I don't. I think they're putting. I don't think they're putting too much effort into like updates and stuff. I feel like they could be doing a lot better with like Battle Coliseum and like Trade Resort. I feel like there's a few minor bugs here and there that I can see. Yeah. That aren't getting fixed at all. Yeah. All right. Um, last would be Bronze Eclipse. Eclipse. I've never played this. Yeah, Bronze Eclipse yeah. is a pretty small copy. It, yeah, uh, I've never heard the it's game. It's new, I think. Yeah, it's, it's pretty small, new. But they, they get some work done. I feel like I feel like they deserve at least like like mid C tier to high C tier, maybe even low B, because I, I feel like I, I've seen them. I've heard of them. They're pretty good. I'd say they're pretty good. They have a little bit of bugs, but overall, I think they're pretty good as a copy. But the real question like is, the... how well is the community? The community is pretty small. I mean, all communities suck. I mean, what can you say? All of the communities suck, especially PBF. But that's what makes some of the copies good. I mean, like, toxic fan bases, that's what people get motivated to do content. I mean, stuff. they also they have, have, like, the double level rifles. They, have, they also have a small amount of Gen 9. As well, so I guess they would be put. Yeah, not all copies have Gen 9 in them. Almost. I guess I would put them above no. Bronze Legends. I know I'm doing Bronze Legends pretty dirty, but in, in for it, um, there's not uh, much to come from Bronze Legends. Hmm? Uh, if you look in general, we got this like Buttles guy saying that like their copy is too tight. I don't know what game they're on about though. Just checked, and uh, the Return of Hoopa actually has a PvP ban list. So, where do you say that catapults it up to? Uh, top of B Maybe. or B? B. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right, and this is the final tier list. And S, we got PBF and BL. In A, we got GOR. In B, we got. TROH, BD, PBO, PSS, and LOR. And then in C, we got PBV, Bronze Eclipse, and PBL, or Bronze Legends. Oh, but this includes both versions, by the way. Don't get them mixed up. And that's the end of the tier list video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Also, subscribe to Time and Kestrel.